It's the crime scene that sparked a firestorm of controversy. A busy Walmart parking lot, a police officer shoots and kills an unarmed man. 18 months later, decision day. The officer is sentenced, the family says justice is served, but is the case completely over? Two and a half years in prison, that's the sentence tonight for Stephen Rankin. A difficult year and a half for relations between police and the community is over. The sentence came down shortly before we went on the air with Wavy News 10 Midday. The hours before brought testimony from both Rankin's loved ones and people who knew the young man killed, William Chapman II. But will Rankin actually serve time? And your side's Aaron Kelly takes us through the emotional day before, during, and after court. Aaron. And the day started with a peace rally just outside of the courthouse and members of the Chapman and Rankin families were very emotional as they talked about that day from April 2015. I want the whole world to see that this man is not above the law just because he was an officer. Sally Chapman was ready, ready to see former police officer Stephen Rankin go to prison for the death of her 18 year old son, William. I see him every day. I see him everywhere I go, but that's not my son. It's just like a yeah. imagination, you know. Rankin shot and killed Chapman outside a Walmart on Frederick Boulevard last year after responding to a shoplifting call. Chapman was unarmed. After a peace rally outside Circuit Court Wednesday, his family and supporters headed in to hear the judge's ruling. Two years and six months in a state penitentiary. It was the same sentence a jury recommended after finding Rankin guilty of manslaughter in August. Before he made his decision, the judge heard from several witnesses, including the officer's wife. Steve is my partner in life and an unwavering support. He is not a perfect man, but he works hard to be present, loving, and kind. Then it was the defendant's turn to speak. He told Chapman's mother he was sorry. Ms. Chapman, I hope that one day you find peace and that one day you'll be able to like I told him when he looked at me, I hope he forgive me, and I said I can't, and I never will. This is not a day to celebrate anything. Their family lost a child. They should be concerned about that, and they should be grieving for the child, not celebrating the fact that another family has now been torn apart. And the defense is appealing this uh, verdict, and uh, the judge made a decision today not to let Rankin stay out on bond pending that appeal, saying that he may be a threat to the community or himself. Live in Portsmouth, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.